many Iowans and others from a rural background, the draft horse is a symbol of their farm heritage. They either worked with draft horses as a child, or remember parents, grandparents, or neighbors who farmed with them. Their memories of the draft horse are about as important as their memories of the family farm. But that heritage is something that has come and gone in less than a century. The draft horse first became a part of American agriculture after the Civil War. Farmers had more land to farm than before and turned to new labor-saving equipment. But this machinery demanded the use of draft horses because they were more agile and faster than oxen, fast enough to drive the gears of the planter box as it dropped individual kernels of corn into the ground, fast enough to generate the clitter-clatter of the sickle bar on the mechanical mower. By the 1920s, most farms had at least a pair of horses. Kit and Kate, Jean and George, Mabel and Molly. Then by the 1940s or 50s, the International Harvester, or John Deere Tractor, replaced these gentle giants, and the draft horse faded from use in everyday farming. Fortunately, there is a renewed interest in draft horses. One place where you can see them is at the Hancock County Fairgrounds, just outside the town of Britt in north-central Iowa. Every year, the people of Britt hold a two-day draft horse show on Labor Day weekend. Now, admittedly, the horses are dressed up, and the event is different than images of horses working on the farm at the family home place. But in many ways, the Britt show is a field of dreams for draft horse lovers. Sixteen hitches from across the nation participate, and it's an opportunity to experience the majesty of the draft horse. This video is dedicated to those people who have kept and continue to keep the draft horse tradition alive. It is produced by Helen Gunderson, a native of Iowa, out of love for her grandfather and his Percheron horses and in conversation with six members of the Brit Draft Horse Association. They are Linda Schuster, Randy Hickox, Bob Hickox, Gordon Carlson, Jim Miller, and Melody Hickox. What are some of the names of the horses? Can you just give me a litany of names of horses? Sam, Charlie, Dick, Duke, Doc, Professor. Professor, yeah. Bones. Bones. What's that one Kenny's got? got Jake. Jake. Jake has been around the world three times. Jake was with the original 40 when I put the 40 together. And last summer when Paul Sparrow put it together again, Jake was on the lead again. And a lot of the audience think, you know, the same of the same hitches are back as far as names, but they will don't always realize that maybe that's an entirely new set of horses. A lot of them are regulars, you know, they get invited every year. But I don't think we've ever had the same six horses back. What is a draft horse? One big horse. <laughs> <laughs> you got big feet. And I think uh, the draft horse it was made for work. And this is what the farmers used to uh, make a living with. I mean, it pulled anything it put behind it, and uh, it's one big horse. You know, you hear your grandpas, your dads and stuff talking about them, and then actually seeing them and stuff. I mean, years ago, I thought a horse was nothing but a hay burner because my experience with horses and with the saddle horses and stuff, and uh, whenever I'd ride one, it seemed like I got thrown off more than I stayed on, and I never had much time for them. But with the draft horses, they call them the gentle giants, and that's basically what they really are. Down at Des Moines at the State Fair, they use the draft horses for a fill-in. And they do that, uh, well, pretty much in, in Minnesota also. 
And if you want to see if you're a draft horse person, you got to be there every night to see all the show. Here you can go out and see everything in two days. You can see a nice show in only one day. One thing about this draft horse show here is that uh, we got it down to where we can have a two hour show and there isn't hardly a 15, 20 minute wait. And I think this is what the people like about this show. I think it's probably one of the best draft horse hitch shows in North America. I've been to a lot of shows in all over the United States and Canada, and this is the only show run specifically like it is with 16 six horse hitches. Start lining them up, and we will start with you, Rosie, if you will, please, on the east end. 